So guys, welcome back to Words Weather. I'm Zach Tuim, and yes again, this is a show all about weather. Well, for this week's weather, I'm just going to be talking about this, is this week's forecast for May 12th through the 20th, which is uh, you know coming up, obviously. Nothing crazy going on. just want to give a forecast update. And in a few weeks, I'll talk about severe weather, hurricane season, summer forecast, and all the above. But I'm just going to do a basic forecast for the next week for my show this time. So I'll start off with the temperatures. Yes, it's, again, a little hard to see. Here's the East Coast. Obviously, here's Great Old State of Connecticut. And yes, 80 degrees. This is for today, Monday, May 12th. Nice warm, nice and warm. A little more humid than yesterday, which was Sunday Mother's Day. Beautiful Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers um, out there from Sunday. And again, beautiful day, beautiful day yesterday in Connecticut and most of southern New England. And today will be just as good, just a slight more humidity and actually a tad bit warmer. These temperatures may be a little modest. This is the 6E GFS temperature forecast model. And they're going for around 80 degrees, give or take. Although, this time of year, the shoreline is going to be colder due to a sea breeze, and I'll explain a little bit later what that will do. But inland, we can see 80 to 85, inland Connecticut. The average high is around 71, so that's well above average. But then what happens again? We go well below average. So it's the pattern in spring. You get mild there, you get cold there. So I'm going to take a run through and show you where we have a, basically a little bit of everything in this forecast through the first week, or second week of May, I should say. Here again, so here's the temperature forecast for today. My own little drawing, a little messy. I could do it on my phone. This is Radar Scope, one of the most advanced and I would say best radar apps available at all. It's $10, totally worth the money if you know how to use it because you can draw on it, you can do funny things. So I just drew a quick map. The immediate shoreline of Connecticut, so Stanford, New Haven, New London, you know, Bridgeport, West Haven, all the beaches, East Haven, will be cool then today. It's called the sea breeze. Long story short, it gets technical, but the water is colder than the air. That creates convection currents, and then the wind flows off the ocean, and obviously the ocean's colder, so it keeps the, the, the Long Island Sound, should say, is cooler. Obviously, the Atlantic Ocean's over here. But either way, it works the same way, and it keeps the shoreline cooler. So going to 70, 75 in the immediate shoreline, when inland, we can hit 85, 87, depending if you have enough sun. So again, within even a few miles, again, like right on the beach at our um, lighthouse, New Haven, 70, 75, Hamden, right where we are, 80, 85. Very cool how it works, but that's what you call a sea breeze. and affects us throughout most of the summer season, spring, summer, and fall, because again, the water is cooler than the air temperature, and that's what creates convection, and that's how you get the winds blowing from the water to the land, cooling the land down at the immediate shoreline. And this is what we saw this weekend, and we're going to see a little bit today. It's called the Bermuda High Pressure. Later in my shows, I'm going to do more on in depth about the Bermuda High because this affects the weather greatly over the summer. But long, again, this is basically the high pressure that sits over the Atlantic Ocean near Bermuda. It doesn't have to be right over Bermuda, but somewhere near Bermuda, which is right around here. And basically what happens is winds around a high pressure go clockwise. And as you see, like I drew the arrows, and you get winds pumping out of the southwest. Now, southwest flow off the Atlantic Ocean is called the MT, a maritime tropical. And that just means more warm and moist air. So that's why it was humid Saturday. We had that high right there. And then even today, it's a little bit shifted, so it won't be as humid, but you get the southwest flow. You bring the temperatures up. You bring the dew points up. It feels hot and humid, and that's what we felt over the weekend. But this week, this... This doesn't really play too much of a role besides today, Monday, the 12th. This kind of scoots off, and unfortunately, we introduce more unsubtle weather as we head into the few weeks. Now, this is what's going to come through tonight and tomorrow. This is called a backdoor cold front. The reason it's called a backdoor cold front, well, because it comes through the back door. Normally, fronts go from west to east across the United States and obviously across New England. But this time, it's basically north to south or northeast to southwest. So actually, it's going to cool from Maine Massachusetts, you know, Vermont, towards Connecticut, and then go to southward. So today we are in the, you know, near 80s. Tomorrow will be maybe around 70, and then even cooler as later in the week as a backdoor cold front comes through and other fronts line up way over here with a big storm in the heart of the country. Severe weather in the Midwest, snow, two feet of snow in Denver today. Guys, it's spring. Big storm coming over, and that's what's going to bring on settled weather for later in the week. Here's a technical map. I don't know if the color is going to show up great here. It's, it's hard to see even on my screen. Um, but this is basically showing you the ridges and troughs. Without getting ridiculously technical, ridges are basically mild air, troughs are usually cold air. Ridges are uh, lifts in the atmosphere, troughs are drops. So you see, wherever you see the orange, those are ridges, and these, this is basically the jet stream. So the jet stream is doing this. So wherever you see the jet stream lift, you have mild air. And this is the east coast. Again, you're, you're in that mild air. You're in, the, you're, in a, you're in a nice ridge. So you're basically the high pressure sitting here. It's forcing the ridge to go. So you got mild air. Here's a trough coming. This is important because I'll quickly slide through these. You see how the, the ridge is moving, the trough's coming in, and then late in the week, oh, there we go. You have a cutoff low pressure system spinning off the coast again. You got blocking. You have the Greenland high over here, and this basically sets you up for an unsettled pattern, probably basically midweek through even the weekend because of the blocking pattern. Again, you have no ridge anymore. You have troughs, cooler air, and then wetter weather, more unsettled weather. 
And then it also shows up quickly on the surface map. This is precipitation. This is goes for a Thursday night into Friday. You see the low pressure spinning. You have the rain coming in. There's the front. And then it gets stalled out, and there's another pressure that tries to form whether it happens or not. It's too early. This is the GFS 6Z for the weekend. Again, it's already five days out, but this is what could happen. And if it does stall, it could be a somewhat dreary weekend. I'm hoping to get this out of the forecast, but something we got to watch. So, guys, I just want to do a quick forecast of the week. So, again, my, I'll do a quick um, re recap. It's mild today, Monday the 12th. Not too cool, but cooler tomorrow, Tuesday, and then cool for the rest of the week because that high pressure is going to move off and you have unsettled weather and the cool pattern coming in due to the trough diving down south and the ridge kind of moving away. The ridge you want the warm and mild air and moist air, but this time we're going to kind of go cool and damp for the end of the week. And again, it's spring, so it's not too unusual, but it looks like below average is going to continue through the next few weeks. But hopefully there's some end in sight. Hope you enjoyed the forecast, guys. It's a week, the May 12th through about the 20th. I'll maybe get a forecast out next week talking about more weather events or weather um, things that will happen like severe weather and tornadoes and stuff like that. But um, for at least this time, I'm just doing a forecast. So guys, hope you enjoyed my show. I'm Zach Duhane, and this is Words of Weather. <laughs>